Hey you guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new. Thank you for tuning into my What I Eat in a Day video. I'm so happy you guys are here. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys what I usually eat in a day and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. The kids just woke up too. What do you guys wanna eat for breakfast? Abena. Abena? Cereal. Cereal, okay. So I started making Bella's oatmeal. Now I'm gonna start prepping for my breakfast. So for breakfast, I'm gonna make some eggs and toast. I love to have eggs in the morning and I always add spinach, turkey, salami to my eggs, which tastes amazing. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in the pan and I'm gonna put the turkey salami right in there and let it simmer for a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some spinach. And this is the spinach that I'm using. I'm gonna throw some in there. I usually just grab a handful of spinach and I just rip them into little pieces. And Bella's oatmeal is already done. On the weekdays, the kids like to have cereal, oatmeal, and fruit. And on the weekend, they like to eat bacon, eggs, and pancakes. And we love to have our oatmeal be their strawberries or bananas, and it tastes so yummy. Don't forget to do a quick prayer. Ready? God is gracious. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. Amen. Amen. So now I'm going to make my egg mixture. I'm going to put four eggs, some egg whites, a little bit of milk, and I'm also going to put some onion powder and garlic powder too. As I'm preparing the egg mixture, I set my stove to low with the salami, turkey, and spinach in the pan. And for the egg mixture, I'm just using four whole eggs, a little bit of egg whites, a little bit of milk, and some onion powder and garlic powder. Okay, now that my egg mixture is all done, I'm gonna pour it right into the pan. And once the egg mixture was in the pan, I set the stove to medium. The eggs are done. Now I'm going to add some shredded cheese on top. And I'm going to have this with some whole wheat potato bread. I usually have it with just regular wheat bread, but this is what we have right now and it tastes really good. And that is breakfast. I don't eat the eggs alone. I share it with hubby and I put a little bit of mayonnaise on our toast too. And I'm gonna have my eggs with some water too. And now it's school time for the girls. Melanie usually sits in this room by herself and she works on her letters. And then Bella's right over here and she's studying for her vocabulary test. If this is your first time stopping by, I do want to say welcome again. I am so glad that you are here. I make new videos every week. I make shop with me videos, day in the life videos, cleaning and organizing videos, and all kinds of things. And I would love it for you to join my YouTube family. So be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And if you're liking what you see so far in this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out so much. So we're gonna take a quick school break right now. The kids are gonna go to the room and play for a bit while I try to squeeze in a quick workout session. I've actually been sleeping in my workout clothes lately to help me stay on track and so far it's been working great. So I'm gonna go do that right now. YouTube home workout videos have been a lifesaver for me. They've been helping me stay active during this time. I will put a link to the workout video that I am doing in the description box below. The girls walked by and saw me and wanted to join the fun and let me tell you, we were all sweating in the end. I am done with my 20-minute HIIT workout and boy did she kick my butt. I am so exhausted. But the kids joined me last minute and they had so much fun. They are starving so I'm going to quickly wash up and then make lunch. 
So I made the kids a quick snack. I just cut up some apples and put some peanut butter so they can munch on something while I quickly showered. I also wanted to have some gogurt too. So that's what they're eating with their apples and peanut butter. So we are all washed up and dressed and the kids are cleaning up their room right now. And I wanna quickly show you guys what the girls are having for lunch. Melanie's having a salami cheese sandwich with carrots, cheese puffs, and grapes. And then Bella's having a peanut butter jelly sandwich with some carrots, Cheez-Its, and grapes. And the kids already had their vitamins. I'm about to take mine now because I forgot to take it this morning. So I'm gonna be having two multivitamins and then three vitamin C gummies. So it is about lunchtime and I am starving. The kids are already eating. I'm thinking about making some tuna and crackers. I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. So for the tuna, I'm gonna be using two cans of chunk like tuna and water that I got from Walmart, some mayonnaise, some garlic powder, onion powder, parsley, and then I always have chopped onions in their fridge. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of that and then half a lime. First, I'm going to put the tuna into a bowl. Then I'm going to add some garlic powder and onion powder. Next, I'm going to add the onions and then some mayonnaise, and you can put as much as you like. And then I'm going to squeeze my lime and add some parsley. And last, I'm going to mix everything up. And I just put this on a plate and I'm about to have it with some Ritz crackers. It tastes so good together. So I'm gonna start making dinner now. I'm gonna make barbecue chicken in the crock pot. I have a pound of chicken breast right over here and I'm gonna be adding some spices to it. And then this is the barbecue sauce that I'm gonna be using. You don't have to add any spices if you don't want to. A lot of people just cook it with just barbecue sauce in the crock pot with just the chicken. I'm also gonna add a little bit of water too. And I just kind of eyeball the measurements and I did season both sides of the chicken. Okay, so now that I'm done seasoning both sides of the chickens, I'm gonna start putting a little bit of water in the bottom of my crock pot. This is like about, I'm gonna say a quarter of a cup. And then I'm gonna put the chicken right on top. Now I'm gonna put half of the bottle of the barbecue sauce right on top of the chicken. And that looks perfect. And now I'm just gonna cook it on high for about four hours. So we are finishing up our schoolwork and I'm gonna have a little snack in between. I'm gonna have some Ooh. chocolate almonds that I got from Aldi's. These are so good if you haven't tried them. I'm gonna eat about 10 of these. Bella wants to show me the little artwork she did today. I did a rainbow with these, with, um, with these pink eyebrows and these blue ones to make colorful. And I made a colorful rainbow. Ooh. And I did these for the eyebrows and I did, um. I like it. Too. I like that pattern better. I'm gonna get some more chalk. My timer went off and it was time to check the chicken. It smells so amazing, so I shred it into pieces. 
So I was gonna eat the chicken with a salad, but I just realized that we ran out of salad. So I'm gonna have it with some frozen broccoli florets. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of sweet corn too. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to the bottom and put this on a low heat. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of shredded cheese on top of my broccoli and corn. And you guys, this meal was so amazing. It was so delicious and I had it with some water too. The kids are eating the same thing as I am. They're having the barbecue chicken, the broccoli and, and corn, but I put a little bit of Alfredo sauce on it and they're also having some rice. And if you can guess what movie we were watching, let me know in the comments down below. So the girls are all showered and they want to have a little dessert. So we're going to have these Uncrustables with the hazelnut filling. This is so good, yeah. you guys. Usually I just put this on a little plate and I put it in the microwave. And I put it in there for about like 10 to 15 seconds. I actually put it in the microwave for another 15 seconds. So a total of 30 seconds. And look how amazing it looks. How are you putting the kids to sleep? I'm gonna get ready for bed. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me and watching this video. If you guys did, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys are new to the channel, definitely subscribe, you guys, so you guys don't miss any future videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!